Hey yo, this is Dash, and today I'm gonna to be using Charlotte with the slow and sear to make some chicken thighs. I used the Vortex a few weeks ago in a video to make some chicken legs. I'm using the kettle, Charlotte, and this thing called a Vortex? What's that all about? These guys are done. If you want to give them a good crisp for a second, you can put them right over that vortex. Oh yeah. Time to get these off. I'll stop playing with my food. I'm gonna use the same jerk seasoning, but as opposed to using the vortex, we're gonna give the slow and sear a try. And I'm gonna compare the results of the two. So, hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. So I'm back out of the grill. You guys see my charcoal chimney is ready and we got some fire. Let's get this grate moved out of the way. Before I move or pour the, the hot coals into the slow and sear, I am actually gonna put some water down in the slow and sear. And it looks like it probably took less than a half gallon. I guess that's probably about a quart. I don't know. Never actually saw what the capacity was. Got some leaves and other debris down there. We'll get that out of there. All right, now to pour this chimney in. spread these out in hopes to try to make sure that my grape will sit down flush. I guess I'll turn this this way so I have access to the grate in the back in case I need to add any charcoal. I don't really foresee me having to add any charcoal though but I'll just do it anyway. All right, so at this point, I'll give this a couple of minutes to kind of heat up, to heat up the grate, and then I'll come back out here with my chicken. I told you guys earlier I was doing chicken thighs. I've already gone ahead and seasoned them. They're just sitting wrapped up on the counter, and I'll get them arranged out here, and we'll see how, see how it works out. All right, so I gave it 
about 15, 20 minutes. Let the grill come up to temperature so that I can clean the grates easy, easily. And that's it. So at this point, I'm gonna get my chicken on and hopefully you guys can see down in here, my water from my slow and sear is boiling and uh, it's time for me to get the, the chicken on. I'd say it's party time. Let's get the chicken on. And I guess I'm just gonna start loading it this way. We'll see how many I can get. Hopefully I can get them all on and around here without a big deal. Hopefully that works out. We'll see what it does. <laughs> All right, so I'm back out of the grill and it's been a half an hour. So I can tell you already that the slow and sear is cooking a lot faster than the Vortex would. The Vortex would have taken a lot longer, but the heat is coming up over the top, and these bits of the chicken that are on the outside edge are cooking much faster than the chicken pieces that are actually closer to the fire. But I guess that's also because there is that water pan there, and to be honest, it's almost out of water. It's only been a half an hour. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna play musical chicken thighs. We're gonna move some stuff around. This one in the back was one that I had a probe in. So I'm gonna take these, these ones that are on the outside and I'm gonna move them up to this outer edge. Now I just stuck it over the fire just cause I'm really not gonna leave it there. So I took the two pieces that were on the outer edge and we're gonna move all of these things around. Get this chicken. Move it around. This is a rather small piece, so I think that can stand to stay out there. And actually, I think I'm gonna flip everything over. Just try to get some heat on the underside of these thighs. I, I apologize for the construction going on behind me over there. How much I can do about that. So now one of the things I was saying is these, these slow and stairs seems to be cooking a lot faster. Now, in the slow and stairs defense, I do have it going wide open right now. I figured with the Vortex, I had it running wide open. With the slow and stair, I'm also running it wide open. It does seem like the slow and stair is cooking faster. The charcoal is burnt down a lot faster. I think I might need to go get some more water and add it to the uh, water pan here. But I'm just gonna keep checking the temperatures so far. 
we're looking at 145, 147, and 151 in those three three chicken thighs that I picked respectively. So once they get closer to temperature, I'll actually come out here with the instant read thermometer and we'll check and see how they're actually doing. So I'll see you guys back out here probably in another 15, 20 minutes. All right, so it looks like uh, the chicken is just about done. I'm actually going to take the probes out because I know I've hit my temperature. Uh-oh. I've hit my temperature. And at this point, I'm just going to turn them back over so I can make sure that the skin side gets crispy. But these look pretty good. I tell you, they don't have the same skin heat intensity as the vortex but they look all right i do think i'm gonna let them sit out here a little while longer though so they can get a little like this i really want that a little crispier and i'm sure if i just put it over <laughs> the hot side i can get the the effect i'm looking for I might do that for a couple just to get the outside singed and really really charred but other than that they're all looking pretty good What do you guys think? At this point, I'm pretty much just letting them finish. So, not in any rush. But those just look a little underdone compared to the other ones. All right. So, after letting it sit out here, so this has been going on for about an hour. I guess we do have similar results to the Vortex. Not mad at all at this. Uh, looks pretty good. Let's get it uh, off the grill. My bottom, baby. <laughs> all right. So. I finished. Mm. I had one of the thighs for myself. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not really a dark meat fan. So chicken thighs really are never my thing. But I cook them for the wife and the kids. They enjoy them. That plate you guys saw, that was for my wife. She was like, oh, thank you, but I don't know if I can eat these two monster thighs. Well, sorry. It was for the video. Hopefully you guys appreciated it. Final thoughts on the slow and sear. Maybe if I were cooking a little lower, I could have cooked these a little slower, but I was perfectly happy and fine with the way the slow and sear performed. Uh, I know Quester, or excuse me, uh, Jay, I'm um, Kali. You asked me to do a video on the slow and sear. I know you with your Cheber, you don't have a slow and sear, you just hook it up and put the charcoal kind of offset in your, in your uh, grill and it works for you this worked for me not a without a without a problem at all so thank you guys as always for watching if you haven't already please do subscribe if you like what you saw today if you learned something please leave me a thumbs up down below last but not least don't forget we do a live stream every wednesday at 9 p.m eastern be there or be square thanks again and i'll see you guys next time